Today we're going to cover the two-way integration between tracks and autovitals. We'll cover what information we need in tracks to get started, then we'll cover what information we can gather in autovitals, and lastly we'll show how to transfer that information back and what information transfers back into tracks. We'll start with a new estimate in tracks, and the pieces of information we'll need to collect are general customer information, including name and phone number, generic year, make, and model, at least one labor line, and the last step is we need to change the status to repair order. After that, this will generate a tile in autovitals. We'll go ahead and hit save and close and move over to the TVP. Now that we've got our tile created in autovitals, we can assign this to one of our technicians in two ways. We can assign the technician in tracks by selecting the technician for each labor line or by assigning the default technician. Or in autovitals, we can simply drag this tile to the corresponding technician that we want to assign this vehicle to. In this example, we'll assign this to Mike Miller. We'll get a pop up confirming that we want to set Mike Miller as the default technician and assign him to all labor lines. All we need to do is hit apply. That tile will then move from the no tech column over to Mike's column and will correspondingly appear on his tablet. He can now access this repair order and start the inspection process. On the technician's tablet, they can now sign in for the day. And we can see that the one repair order that we've assigned to this technician is visible on his active vehicles page. The first steps that the technician can do from here is to take a profile photo, scan the VIN number, and enter the odometer, as well as add a license plate number. Now, if we click on this tile, we'll now access the repair order where we can see all the labor lines that we've been assigned and that have been approved. And the first thing we're going to do is add a note to this labor line in the customer notes field. The technician can now continue with performing the inspection on this vehicle. In this example, we'll go ahead and select several recommendations that are mapped to CAN jobs in Napa tracks so we can see how they transfer to the work order automatically during the estimating process. Now that we're done with the inspection portion, we'll move back to the today's vehicle page. On the repair order, we can see that the technician has marked the inspection labor line complete and has added a customer facing note. We can see this needs approval indicated by the red question mark. The fastest way to authorize a customer facing note is the notes image editor. Using this box at the top, we'll filter to all unapproved messages and give you a highlighter to show where to approve those notes. We'll do that now and close out of the editor. We'll show in a little bit how we can transfer that note over onto tracks. Now that we've gathered all the transferable information on the work order, we'll quickly move to the inspection sheet to take a look at those canned jobs that we recommended. We can see three recommendations selected from the technician. All three of these jobs have already been synced between tracks and our inspection sheet. We're now ready to transfer all this information back into tracks. We're going to use the update VIN odometer or update work order button to do so. The update VIN odometer button does just that. It updates the VIN and odometer and vehicle information that was collected. The update work order button also updates the VIN and odometer as well as transfers any CAN jobs and technician assignment. Once we hit the update work order button, will be presented with a pop-up. We can go ahead and close out of that. That is just confirming that the information has been transferred. And from here, we can move over onto tracks. Tracks will go ahead and open up the repair order. At a glance, we can see several pieces of information have transferred over, including the license plate and VIN number. We also have the odometer in transferred over. If you use out mileage, that too can be input and transferred over. Since we assigned our technician in autovitals, we can actually see that the assignment has transferred over into tracks and that our technician is the technician for those three labor lines. At the bottom of the repair order, we can see those CAN jobs we recommended on the inspection report have automatically transferred over to the repair order. There is a nomenclature in the notes field stating that they were added by autovitals. The better your list of CAN jobs is in your point of sale, 
And once you integrate those with your inspection sheet and auto vitals, the quicker your estimating process will be as it will eliminate steps for adding certain jobs, parts, and labor. Lastly, if we click on the notes field on the inspection labor line, we can now see the note that was added to that labor line has transferred over. That concludes our auto vitals tracks to a integration. We've covered what information we need in tracks to populate a tile on auto vitals, what information and how to collect that information, then how to get that information transferred back into tracks. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.